Welcome to the School of Silence. This is the place where the noisiest children in the country come to learn, to be educated in the art of silence. Four new pupils are going to be here today and they've got just one day to prove they've got what it takes to be absolutely silent. Are they going to do it? Let's go and find out. The four new pupils are from Hackney in London. They've been screaming and shouting ever since they arrived. Right now they're having their noise levels tested by the headmistress and the form tutor. Come to the front! Like you! Nay! Shamel's considered too noisy by her family, and she's always slamming doors. Name! Ravana! Ravana is very musical, which is great. However, she says she prefers keyboards to pianos, because they have a volume control and you can turn up really loud. Oh dear. Name! <laughs> Tamira says she does all her noise-making whilst in the park, riding her bike. She disturbs people by shouting at the top of her voice. Name! Name! Nathan is another musical one. He plays his drums loudly in church and rates himself 10 out of 10 for noisiness. With such bad noise ratings, it's clear they're going to need some serious training to bring those volume levels down. That's enough! Get out! Here's how the day works. The new pupils have three challenging classes to learn how to be silent, followed by the crucial final exam, which will determine whether they graduate or will be expelled. If they are too noisy... <laughs> I will know about it, thanks to this device, the Gobstop 2000, the latest in noise monitoring technology. If they pass, they will graduate and receive the ultimate reward the golden gobstopper. If they fail to keep that shut, then I will have no choice but to expel them. Shh. Now, before we begin, I must ensure the school has been hushed down. Seven seconds to hush down. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. So it's off to see Mr. Gross for class one of the day's silent training. The fact that she had a large volume of children, I sympathise with. But living in a shoe, the old woman is clearly an idiot. And we should really learn the lesson that you should find suitable accommodation. Yes, do come in. Oh, please sit down. Hi, Mr. Gross, your teacher for general studies. This is your first lesson in your silent training, during which you must remain absolutely silent. Yes, yes, very good, very good boy. Yes, I think we're going to get along just great, aren't we? The reason is because Miss Gobstop is listening on these microphones with the Gobstop 2000. She'll be monitoring your noise levels, and if you're too noisy, it will not bode well for your final exam. To determine which child does each test, we will be picking gobstoppers from a jar, which are the same colours as all of your ties. Time to get started on the silent training. Snot hold. I don't get that. We've collected an awful lot of snot. Oh, uh, you have to hold it. From the horrible children around the school, and then, of course, I've added some of my own lovely snot. <coughs> and uh, you're going to have to hold it, the chosen child, for oh. 30 seconds in absolute silence. Oh. Let's find out who's going to do this particular test. Would you like to pick a gobstopper, dear? Oh. Tamira. Tamira, remember, it might be you, as we've seen. Oh, oh dear! Oh. It seems to be you, dear. Oh. Don't worry, it's quite fresh. Oh. Now, hold your hands up. They've got no idea that isn't real snot. When I give you the cue, you will have 30 seconds. I want you to point all into her hands. Okay, all of it. Don't spare any. 
And you must keep your hands cupped like this. I don't want it all slipping through into the tub. No cheating. Now, the challenge is during this that you must remain absolutely silent. Is that clear? No. Is it clear? No. I think it is. Your time starts now. Ugh. Oh, noise almost immediately. Not good. Ah, that's better. Controlling themselves after a bad start. <coughs> oh, that's harsh. Mr. Gross is making Chamel hold the snot again. She's really holding it together, though. OK, come up. Well, not too bad. However, you did set off the Gobstop 2000. Do you know what? I don't think it was even one of you two. I think it was one of our, your other teammates who I shan't point at. Oh, I did. Whoops. Nathan, you're letting the girls down. Shh. Well, let's see if Nathan can control himself in the next part of the class. Foot. Paint. It's quite simple. The chosen child will have their feet painted for 30 seconds. That child and all of the other children must remain absolutely uh, silent. Yes, indeed. Let's find out who's doing it. Ravana, you can pick this time. Pick a gobstopper. Remember, it could even be yourself. Oh. Yes! Oh! Yes. <laughs> Nathan, it's you. Ravana, that means you get to paint his feet. Do you think you could do it quietly? Yes. Somehow I doubt it by the giggling that's already occurring. OK, jolly good. Shh. Your time starts now. <laughs> oh, dear. Another bad start, but Tamira's trying to control them. And it's working. Good teamwork. Nathan's really struggling to hold the noise in. Another solid performance from the team here. Time up! <laughs> Shh. Well, overall, not too bad. However, you've got to concentrate if you want to keep it up. You don't seem to understand you have a final exam at the end of the day. This is preparation, training. You must try your best. And that is not going to happen if you're insolently mocking me continuously, Nathan. Now, get out. Don't try and use my... Get out! <laughs> Get out of my class, you insolent children! Absolutely silent. I can't believe it. Well, that's because it's not true. We're not gonna win the trophy because of. There is always one, and. He's a very select teacher, I suppose. He's quite strict as well, isn't he? Yeah, not really. Not really. No? He, he, he thinks he's cool. Well, listen, I think you're doing pretty well. Don't forget you are training to be silent. You ready for your next lesson? Yeah. It's in the canteen. What do you think's going to happen in there? We're going to make more noise. All right, then. Nora and Brittany are waiting for you. Off you go. Over to the canteen. Enjoy yourselves. Bye. See you in a bit. ta -ra. Attention. Attention. This is the School of Silence. The tap dancing class is reminded yet again to wear the correct footwear. Fluffy slippers. Thank you. On with the silent training and it's time to head to the canteen for class two. <laughs> Cooey, it's lunchtime. Hello. Brittany, we are not a DJ, dear. We are a catering assistant. Thank you. Oh. Look at me, I've still got my reading spectacles on. Hello, dears, how are you? Fine. Are you good? Nice to see you all. My name is Nora Nugget, and I am the dinner lady here at the School of Silence. This is my lovely assistant, Brittany. Pretty as a picture. <laughs> oh, right. Now, welcome to my kitchen, my dears. You have been sent here as part of your silent training today, and we are going to be feeding you some rather fine recipes from my own private menu. All right? Now, can you see this sign up there? The silent sign? If it flashes red, that means you're making far too much noise because, and let me tell you why, Miss Gobstop, you see, can listen by your microphones to every sound you make. So, first up on the menu, 
banana split head. This is what you're going to be making, only with one slight difference, you'll see, dears. You will be making it on your chosen teammate's head. Ah. Oh. Yes. Has anyone ever had a banana split on their head before? Yes. Oh. Yes. You have, have you? Yes. Well, you should be a past master at this. You might get another one, mightn't you? Right then. Um, Ravana, dear, would you like to be the first, first to choose? <laughs> The green one, Shamel. Aren't you lucky, my dear? I bet you were looking forward to a banana split on the head, weren't you? No. No? <laughs> on, well, Ravana is going to be making one in your head, my dear. Oh. All right? Oh. Now, you need to start with a good solid foundation for a banana split, Ravana, my dear. So, a couple of bananas, and then start with some cream, and then you can start decorating with some strawberry or chocolate sauce, or maybe some bit of both, if you like. And uh, finish off with a bit of decoration, some lovely chocolate sprinkles, and finish with a cherry on the top there, all right? Your 30 seconds of silence starts now. <laughs> oh, that's another noisy start. Squash it. <laughs> oh, dear. Can they pull it back like before, though? <laughs> That would be no. <laughs> Some finishing touches. Ah, cherry nice. <laughs> oh, that's time up, Ravana. Well, you have made a rather splendid looking banana split there, but I'm afraid to say you were all giggling the whole way through, weren't you? Especially these two. So, can they improve as the class moves on? Feed. A friend. Now, feed a friend involves all of you, and you will have these extra long spoons. They're quite long, and you will be feeding each other some of my very special strawberry whip dessert. All right? <laughs> Off we go, then. You have 30... Silence... Wait for it. <laughs> you have 30 silent seconds, starting from now. <laughs> A lot of chuckling going on here. <laughs> oh, more laughing. With their mouths full. <laughs> oh, and talking as well now. <laughs> oh, that's time up. Well, what a mess. You really have dreadful table manners, don't you? Oh, and I saw the Gobstop 2000 go off at least twice. I can only hope that you do better in Miss Bunsen's science laboratory this afternoon. Off you go. Off to science. Go on. Get out. Go on. Oh. Oh. Ah! We all like a good laugh, don't we? Well, not me and not in my school. Not from Shamel, Ravana, Tamir or Nathan. Appalling behaviour. Come on, guys. Thanks a lot. <laughs> not funny. So that was Nora and Brittany in the canteen. How was that for you, Shamel? I'm too sticky now. Yes, you are quite sticky. Talk us through what the stickiness is. Well, <laughs> this is uh, chocolate sprinkles. Yeah. <laughs> and I did have cream on my head and banana. Do you think that you're learning to be more silent while these things happen? No. Nope. 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 OK, I have one question then. Do you want to go away with the Golden Gobstop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how you go away with the Golden Gobstop? You can Gobstopper? be silent. OK, so it's a team effort. A yeah. uh, little nod from Shamel, they go, yeah, Nathan, you got this out. What do you think is going to happen then in the final exam? Are you going to do it? We're going to do it. We're going to try. Then we're going to be free for noise. <laughs> exactly, that's it. You've only got to be quiet for the final exam, and then once you've got your golden gobstop, you can go mad. OK, then, well, your next lesson is with Miss Bunsen. She's a science teacher. Off you go, enjoy yourselves, and don't forget, silence. Nathan, you too. Attention, attention. This is the school of silence. Pupils are reminded that we are about to test the new specially designed fire alarm. The fire alarm test is now complete. Last lesson of the day, it's off to the science lab to meet Miss Bunsen. Moving! Oh, what a din! Come in, dears! Oh, hello, Nathan! Hello, Tamara! Chanel, nice to see you! Oh, my goodness, young lady! Well, now, I can see you haven't learnt much since you've been here, but this is the school of silence. Shh. 
and I am your science teacher, Miss Bunsen. Now, what I want you to learn is science in silence. Now, this is the last class that you'll be having before your final exam with Colonel Kittens. <laughs> Time to get the class underway. Instant! Snowman! I have designed all season snow. Let's see who's going to be doing this task. Shh! Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it? Is you! You picked yourself! Shh! Now for my all weather snow. Oh no! Your teammates are gonna turn you into a snowman. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. Ta da! All weather snow. <laughs> Your silent time starts. Nice silent start here. <laughs> oh, a few giggles. The training's definitely paying off, though. Noise levels have dramatically improved here. Overall, a good performance. Time's up, time's up, time's up. Let's apply the finishing touches to our snowman. Oh, look at that. Et voila! All season snowman. <laughs> How do you feel? Happy. Happy? Of course you do. All snowmen are happy, aren't they? Wow. You managed to do that in quite a lot of silence, which was brilliant. Whereas you, I did hear a little bit of giggling, especially from you, Nathan. Mm -hmm. Shh! So their last chance now to perfect those silent techniques. Toxic slugs. One of you will be chucking the slugs to another person and putting them in the contamination units. That's to make sure they're safe from harm and safe from humans. Who's it gonna be? Who's Shamel. it gonna be? Shamel. We'll pick Shamel this time. Go on. Maybe next time, Nathan. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh dear. You have been chosen to perform the oh, task okay. that lays before you. Oh. Can you believe it? Shh. Are you ready for this silent, silent experiment? Yes. We oh. That's what I like to hear. Your silent time starts now. Good start. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Oh, too much noise. <laughs> Got it. Tamira's taking her time here, making sure she gets the slug in the container. Oh, oh dear. They're doing better now. Time's up, time's up, time's up! Oh, well, you saved some of my slugs. You were quite quiet. You were very giggly. I think you actually spoke, Shemel. Words actually left your lips. My goodness. You need to go to Colonel Kittens' class. A-S-A-P. For your final exam. Off you go. In silence. Keep it quiet. Good luck. And may the force be with you always. Nanu, nanu. A lot of self-control in this group. That's what we like to see. I mean, here. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly Nathan. How are you feeling, Nathan? Feeling very fine. You're feeling fine. Okay, Ravana. I'm a bit scared. Jamel, how do you think it's going to go? I think it's going to be fun, actually. Yeah? As a team, do you now feel prepared to go into the final exam and do it? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to go away with the Golden Gobstopper? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And are you ready to meet Colonel Kittens? Yes. Yeah. Are you going to graduate or get expelled? Graduate. 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 That's what we like to see, a positive attitude. There's the door. He's waiting just down there in the gym. Good luck, guys. Bye. See you Bye. in a bit. noise levels in preparation, popcorn is to be consumed uncooked. 
They've had their three classes, and now it's time for their final exam. Colonel Kittens will really put them to the test. To graduate and win the golden gobstopper, they must keep that shut. If they set off the gobstop 2003 times, they will be expelled! Well, their silent training's all been building up to this. Their final exam with Colonel Kittens. Right! You gobby little goblins! My name is Colonel Kittens. And it's my job to make you crack. And from all the sniggering I've had reports of, that doesn't sound like it's going to be too difficult. These are my munitions. What's your name? Tamara! Tamara? Yes, sir! What about you, boy? Jolly good and a salute! Chuck it in for good measure! What about you, dear? Shamel, sir! Fantastic! On the end here? Ravana, sir! Ravana, sir! Good, good, good! Right! Are you ready to suffer in silence? Yes, yes sir! Your time starts now! The Colonel brings out the ketchupy socks. <gasps> See if you can get a reaction. Nothing from Nathan. How about that then? Nothing from Shamel. Good work here. Now what's next? Ah, the creamy dollops. Nice bowl cut for Ivana. And a nice cherry to finish. All supposed to create noise and it's not happening so far. Oh dear, orange splat. Yes, this normally works and there's definitely a chuckle there. Ah, the Colonel's secret weapon, the comedy hat with squirty cream. A little bit of a squeak but not too much noise. Didn't work, Colonel. Yes, he doesn't look happy. Ah, silly string. That's it, Colonel. Make him work. Well done, Nathan. Oh dear, the bunny ears. Never fails. Until today. Great work from the team. Right! Well! What can I say? You seem to have made rather a mess of my gym and of me, which I don't normally allow. Look at the state of you, Nathan. I can barely see you. You look like a tangerine explosion. Is that normal behaviour? No, sir! No, it isn't, is it? How do you think you did? Very good, sir. Right, well, why don't you go and find out. Get out of my gym! So, you managed to wreck the place then. That's a good sign. So, that was the final exam. How was it? Well, was it wasn't nice, but we had lots It of was fun. so much fun that we couldn't have even talk. Uh, well, Colonel Kittens was very impressed with your discipline. The sir, yes, sir, and the no, sir, no, sir. All oh, that's very good. Do you think he managed to make you make noise? No. no. Do you think you didn't make any noise? Yes. A tiny little bit. Just like. <laughs> he did tell you. No, I wasn't even laughing. So, I'm going to ask you the big question. Have you graduated or are you going to get expelled? Graduated. Confidence, that's what we like. Okay, well, Miss Gobstop is waiting to tell you the results. After you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Come in. Quickly. Here. Now, you've all been sent here because you're all far too noisy. And I've put you through silent training. I've been listening to you all day. Let's take a look at your report. Ravana. Bit of a chatter. Bit of a giggler, are we? I'm not sure if your training has worked. But you did make a marvellous banana split on your teammate's head. Shh! <laughs> Maybe you should go into catering. Chamel? You're definitely not a model silent student. When you had a banana 
be a tad noise. Shh. <laughs> Catching toxic slugs. Noise. Shh. Very impressed. Nathan, during the classes, you were loud. In the tests, however, you managed to keep it shut. Shh. Shh. Thank you, Miss. Tamara, or should I say Frosty? You can't seem to keep quiet either, even with a carrot on your nose and the hands catching toxic slugs. Shh. Shh. I'm disappointed. But how did you do in the final exam? Ravana? Good. Shema? Good. Ethan? Brilliant. Tamara? Fabulous. I can reveal to you that you have graduated. Yes. And therefore, you receive the Golden Gobster. Ravana. <laughs> Take the silence with you, spread it, and always remember no noise is good news. Get up. You too, Barney. MI High is up next. Today, Oscar's hidden identity is revealed to Agent X, the world's deadliest agent. Can our spies defeat him? Hey, Mark, what about CBBC Saturday mornings? Oh, no. All new, give me a break. Are you ready to hand over the power? Yes. yes. Let's do it. <laughs> the amazing TMI. <laughs> now, they are handsome fellas. Ooh. <laughs> Plus, my almost famous family. Food bun! CBBC, Saturday mornings from 8, CBBC on BBC Two. It's fit to burst with brand new stuff, so be there. I'll be there. Yeah, mate, you need to be. Welcome to the Cartoon Works. Come inside to see CBBC's top cartoons and get a sneaky peek at some new stuff. But that's not all. We've got a whole factory to explore. Let me show you around. There's loads of games in our production line. If you're good enough and you spot all the hidden clues, you might even get to be boss. The cartoon works these new recruits. Come and join us at bbc.co.uk forward slash cbbc.